Dem bill for D.C. statehood passes House, heads to Senate. And this is a topic report that we have titled DNC push for D.C. statehood using, quote, racism, unquote, as shield of protection from dissent. This is, I mean, saw this happening, saw this coming years ago, and, and now it is here in full force. If you want to kill dissent, just charge people with being racist and other things, which actually we'll get to in this episode. And if you're watching the topic report by itself be sure you go to the black and gold freedomist channel to watch the video and also the link to the whole show is in the video below our top story that we're picking from this uh, which the, the topic is dc statehood bill racism power grab this is from fox news Representative Jody Heiss, D.C. statehood vote. Here's what Democrat power play, Democrats' power play is really about. We are witnessing a radical transformational push by the left to bend and warp America's institutions and governments to their will. This week, Nancy, Speaker Nancy Pelosi plans to ram the next phase of Democrat strategy through the House. Already done that. Granting statehood to the District of Columbia. Let me just follow her a little bit more here him sorry that's a him okay hr 51 the washington dc admissions act would admit the district of columbia to the united states as the 51st state to be called washington douglas commonwealth there are a host of fundamental problems with both the approach and policy of this bill introduced by dc delegate eleanor Nor holmes norton so it's not even introduced by a member uh, a voting member of congress so that'll be interesting eager to solidify their narrow control in congress to force through the radical agenda democrats are happy to disregard the wisdom and intent of our founding fathers let's remember there's a reason the district of columbia exists as a special federal enclave and holds a unique status in our system of government as created by the constitution as James Madison argued in Federalist Paper Number 43, if America's capital were situated in any state, that state would wield tremendous influence over the federal government. The Constitution was explicitly crafted to avoid this by carving out a federal district in which this, to seat the capital on neutral ground. Now, I, I, I have, will, add, I will say about this that if this was a Republican-controlled area. And the Republicans had control of the House and Senate and the presidency, as as the Democrats do right now. I would not be, especially if it, uh, no, when I say controlled, I mean overwhelmingly like the Democrats don't have a chance in the next gazillion years of ever getting a foothold there, as, as appears to be the case in D.C. Well, then I would be willing to bet that the Republicans might very well, I mean, there would always be some Republicans, law and order, rule of law Republicans who put their vehicle of power squarely in the idea of a limited re federal government and uh, Republican model in which the states have considerably more power. But I would be willing to bet that the Republicans might be just as eager to make D.C. a state as the Democrats are now. As I say often in my reports, when you're looking at the affairs of nation states in general, you're not. and, and in our case now we have the new element, we have the DNC, which is basically a corporate nationalist state is what it is and it seeks to convert the united states of america from a nation state to a corporate nationalist state uh, when you have that type of power you take it and this is what the democrats are doing whatever arguments you want to hear from either side about the morality or justification of this or that it really comes down to basically the rule of power at this point and now rule of law is a form of power it's more it's more heavily based in ideational power rather than physiological power, whereas rule of power is, well, I, maybe I should use rule of physiological power versus rule of uh, ideational power. Rule of physiological power, this is, this is where the corporate nationalists wish to take us from, uh, a, a, a state that is ruled by King Bill. The, the Bill of Rights, where you nullify the ability of, of the state to create priest kingism to, well, essentially priest kingism, but it's not even within the frame of the state because ultimately the corporations will set the agenda wholly and completely as, as, as they're doing more and more nakedly now. And when you have the type of power that you can take, you take. And this is the very nature of the 
in general, the course of enterprise governance model, and corporate nationalism is the course of govern enterprise governance model, even more so than the nation state model, more nakedly so. Uh, here's some other headlines here. Republicans erupt after Dem Rep calls their D.C. statehood arguments racist trash. And they should. They should erupt. They should erupt because this is this is the heart of this this point here is what 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 the American quote unquote right what are really the right left the authoritarian right left the corporate nationalist authoritarian right left they are using high handed morality to browbeat dissent and they have all of the means of of cultural production to to basically create a humanity in our lands that buys this moral outrage so whenever they say racist then the the low iq 100 i mean our average iq in america is 100 you can you can easily manipulate human beings of 100 iq and less and this is the target audience for for all of these these uh, folks by the way republicans do they all target the low iq folks because they take up significantly more portions of uh, voting than any other block the uneducated unintelligent voting block is by far the largest voting block in America. So when you have the means of cultural production, when you have all of the corporations at your beck and call that are producing all of your news media, all of your movies and TV and everything else, then you can use moral supremacist browbeating to destroy any dissent in the land, and that's that's essentially what's happening. And there's more headlines here. I'll just go over brief, briefly. Majority Leader Hoyer on why this D.C. statehood vis vote is different from WAMU 88.5. Utah congressional delegation calls D.C. statehood attempt unconstitutional on a power grab. KSLN News Radio. D.H.C. statehood approved by House as Senate fight looms. KNOE.com. Kevin McCarthy freaks out. As a house house passes D.C. statehood bill, that's from the Left Politics USA, and then there's more you can read that yourself.